Hello everybody. Um, have you ever updated an app on your iOS device? That's your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and then found that it didn't work or crashed your device, but wished you could go back? Well, you're in luck because this video, I will tell you one way you can restore your program to the prior version. Keep in mind, this will only work if you did the original update on your device itself and not through iTunes. Because what happens is that when you update a program on your iPhone, iPod, iPad, uh, the program doesn't get moved over to your iTunes library until you sync. So as long as you haven't synced your device since you did the update, which you're not happy with, um, it is possible to restore to the prior version that was working well for you. Uh, in this case, I'm going to demonstrate uh, doing this with a couple different programs. Uh, but the basic process is you go to iTunes. It doesn't matter which version of iTunes you have. And you will go to the um, apps section. So. Uh, you click on apps, now you see your app library. So in Windows, you will just right click on the program and just choose find in Windows Explorer. Let me do it with this program and it will automatically take me to the folder where all of my programs are actually located. So uh, let me do this with uh, this program here. And I'm going to choose show in Windows Explorer. And here we go. This is where it stores all of your files in an IPA extension. That's the file name extension. So uh, what you want to do is you want to copy these files over. And here's uh, the Rock Battle uh, 1.5.3. The newer update was 1.54. Um, so you want to basically copy it someplace else and then delete it from here. So I'm going to right click on my desktop, choose new folder, and let's just choose, uh, give it any name you want. I'm just calling it iOS. So, uh, and then I pressed enter on it. And uh, now I'm going to just drag it over here since uh, and that'll move it since I'm on the same location it's gonna actually move it otherwise you could um, right click and choose cut and paste or delete if you're on the same partition when you're dragging a file it actually moves the file rather than making a duplicate of it in this case the desktop is the same partition as the C drive so it moved it and now the same thing with the zombies. It's all going to be in the same folder, so I don't really need to right click again. You see, so I'm going to go to zombies, and I can right click and choose cut and paste. Or I can, since I'm on the same partition, I can just drag it, and it will completely eliminate it from here. So um, that's it. Close that. Then you go to your iOS device. and you uh, delete both of the applications and once you've deleted them now you go to where you copied your files to and you right click and you choose open with and iTunes and, it, and that will sync it up to install The app lock battle already exists for to learn. Do you want to replace it? Replace. Oh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I do that, I'm supposed to delete it here. Forget that. One step. So after I move those files, I had to delete it from my library. Delete app. Let me go to zombies, right click, 
delete. So now I've deleted it from here, and now I can go and just choose right, open with iTunes, right click. Uh, and uh, that should be it. And now when I sync it up, I should have the older version uh, back on my device. That's yeah, simple as that. So anyway, hope that helps you all. And enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Hello, I just want to add that um, after you delete um, the program from your library, you should sync before copying it back to the library. So uh, first you find your program, back it up, the IP file, uh, then delete it from here, delete it from your phone, sync your device, then open with adding it with iTunes and then uh, sync again once it's back in here and it'll install that prior version so that's all I just wanted to add alright thank you please like and subscribe